Do y'all even care about what happened on Monday? You do, okay. All right, Um, right, let's go back to Monday, Love & Hip Hop, here we go. Young Bird has mixed and mastered the song that Tierra and him have put together. Tierra is coming to the studio to hear the final cut. Young Bird got all types of candles, fruit, Victoria's Secret sprays over there, baby oil over there. Tierra walking in there like, fruit over here. Young bird, you doing too much. Tierra TT, she's just here for her song. And the song sounds good. I can't wait to hear it when it comes out, if it's even gonna come out. Sips T. Young bird, now let me tell you something, you're petty. Why would you go and tell Hazel E that TT is your boo, your baby? Why would you go and do that to Big Bird? Tierra doesn't care, cause she's all about her music. Fizz and Amanda, our favorite couple, they just cannot get it. Right. So Fizz and Amanda meet up. Fizz is hot, okay? He's talking about- I'm rolling down the street, and I pull up next to who? Amanda and Miami too. How did this happen? Like, did Mona write this in or something? Am I being punk? I'm just like, <laughs> yeah, but how did that happen though? Like, how does that happen? Cause I've been on plenty of breakfast dates, and ain't no- Let me not, let me not say that, cause- so I'm gonna be in trouble. Okay. Fizz, you are being played, boo. It's just not a good day for light skin brothers. Mexicans won, light skins like negative three. Amanda just don't care. She like, I went to the breakfast with a guy. I don't understand why you're mad. Like you wasn't talking to me. You was acting really weird, so. Let me go get with a girl and take her to the IHOP. How are you gonna like that if I scramble her eggs for her? If I pour her orange juice, you know what I'm saying? How, how would you like that, huh? So Fizz is like, you know what? If you're gonna be acting like that, I don't need to deal with you. I'm cool on you. Amanda's like, okay, well, that's what it is then. Shoot. <laughs> Fizz is like, okay, whatever then, bye. Be out then. Amanda, man, why you why you acting like this though? So you really gonna leave though? So you so you really gonna oh okay. Drew, I don't really like to see you hurt like this. Bay is here, hello. I would never do that to you. I would never take another dude to Denny's. You know what I'm saying? I would take him to IHOP. That's what I would do, because they got the better pancakes. Sometimes they be having deals and stuff like that. Mona, how is everyone friends on this show? Now Tierra and Nikki Baby are friends. Nikki Baby and Tierra get together to just have girl talk because they're friends now. This conversation, like, what? Hey, Tierra Busso, I see you got your titties out looking right. Look at some wine. I got my titties out because, like, I'm single, so. Well, let me tell you about how I saw Masika. She was doing this little, like, photo shoot or whatever. She was telling me about her and Molly Mo. And I spoke to Molly Mo, and I was like, you know what? I'm done with you, so that's why my titties are out. So why are yours out? Because you know, it's all about, like, titties and just, like, thickness and plastic and... Do you want plastic? Because I have some in the back if you want some. Let me get you some. Fizz is trying to get up out of his mama's house. He has found a place for him and Cameron. And he invited Monice to come on along because he's trying to work on his co-parenting thing. Monice is nervous. She thinks she's about to come up in Drew's house, be cooking over here, sleeping over here, have a full room. Monice, chill. I see why Drew is just cool on you too. Fizz inquires about Monice's business ventures and, and what's going on with her. She starts talking about her hot dildo collection that she's trying to get up off the ground and how she needs $130,000. And Fizz is like, wait, so let me get this straight. I'm trying to buy a house for our son and you worried about heated dildos? It's just, Moniz, I see why Fizz dropped you, okay? Cause his mind is just on a totally different level and you worried about stuff that's that's never gonna pop. Youngberg and Masika meet up because, again, everybody is friends. Masika wants to get Youngberg's side of things because Hazel E's been all up in her ear about Youngberg I and mean, how he been doing her wrong. Youngberg's like, you know, gave her the record, sounds stalkerish, like we're nothing. I'm not clearing the record, I'm not clearing her. She needs to like leave me alone. Youngberg has this plan to Give the record to Masika since she liked it so much. I didn't even know Masika sings. I thought she was a video vixen. And then at the end of the whole entire meeting, they decide to take an Instagram picture together. All after Hazel E and Masika just came from their Thought Lottie's exercise session. Moni, you be doing some writing, girl. Woo. It's just messy. I love it though. E-Money. Ray J. 
Ray J is really just glorifying his girlfriend, Princess, how, you know, she's been there for him, never fussed, never fought, just how she's been everything that Tierra just never was. Money is talking to Princess and, and he's just explaining how he just prided himself on never going to jail, never wanted that bad boy image lifestyle. And I'm like, If you don't stop, okay, now you know you wanted to be D-Money your whole life. You took that role in Moesha very seriously, and you're still portraying it. You know you like to say, oh yeah, because I've been to jail, whatever. And then when dudes ask you what you've been to jail for, you be like, because I busted a window or something. I did some other stuff too. That's bad. Cut the crap, okay? This is his life, so like, where do you really see us? Where do you really like see us going? And Ray J's like, you always gonna be in the same book, but we might not be on the same page, you know what I'm saying? But I see us going straight to the top, building a brand, you know, building an empire. We gonna have kids, we gonna get married. Let's try to reverse the last two. Let's get married and then have kids. Sorry, I'm, I forgot, it's 2014. Surprise, it's me. Amanda pops up at Fizz's mom's house because I don't think he bought the house yet. She knows she's just saying, I thought about what you said. I brought Cameron the candy. I really want to be here. I miss you. I miss Cameron. I miss your mama's house. I miss staying here. In other words, so I have went up on their pancakes or whatever, and I just can't afford to be buying pancakes for this dude every day. Like, Fizz is telling Amanda, you know what? I'm focused on my business. I'm focused on finding a house for me and Cameron. You know, I brought Monisa along. Masika's getting ready for her big debut diamond in the rough photo shoot. I don't know, whatever that was. Hazel E decides to, to, to holler at her before her big moment. She wants to talk about these pictures that she saw with uh, her and Young Berg. But Hazel goes off on, on Masika. Why are you taking pictures with my man? I thought we were friends. I thought we were friends. Poor Hazel. Every time she makes a friend <laughs> with one of these girls, they just end up doing her dirty. First it was Sierra, now it's Masika. Masika's like, Boo, calm down, because first of all, those pictures were before I even knew you and Berg were even like an item. And like, are you really mad about the pictures? Or are you mad that Berg's just not messing with you like that? I was like, oh, no she didn't. That's, whew. My favorite part, Amanda and Monice. Monice is telling Amanda, you know what, if you're gonna be in Cameron's life, I need you to actually stay. Every time that you break up with Drew, you break up with Cameron. The whole conversation seemed like it was starting out very cordial, you know? Monique was very calm. And then Amanda started calling her delusional and crazy. Asking Monique, does she even have a house? Do you take care of him to school? Do you cook for him? What are you doing? What you need to do is respect me as Cameron's mother. I don't have to respect you because I don't know. I, who are you? Oh, I just I just caught the spirit. Thank you, Jesus. Amanda just starts turning up. I don't really have to respect you. You're delusional, okay? You does not want you. You don't take care of your son. I'm the one who takes care of him, okay? Yes, I may take people to IHOP, but I always come back, okay? I just brought your kids some candy yesterday, okay? When's the last time that you got your kids some M&Ms, okay? When's the last time that you got him some Skittles, okay? When's the last time, huh? 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 Oh, oh! When's the last time that you made a taco enchilada, okay? I made that for him. Hold that for me. Beans and rice, huh? Beans and rice. What are you doing? Nothing? Oh! Didn't, didn't I tell you? Don't let me know. Now don't let me know. Not to talk to me any old kind of way. Moniece is about that life. Drew, you got a thing for crazy women I see. Because Moniece... She's out there. Why does this have to happen to Amanda? This is her first time on reality TV. She didn't know that this this is what it comes with. It's just, you shouldn't have been talking. You shouldn't have called her delusional. I, I agree. You, know, you don't call people that. 
and scene. And that was the end of the whole episode. These reviews just get later and later, don't they? I'm, I apologize. I have a lot going on in my real life. I have like rehearsals and shows and, and plays and, and, and interviews and jobs and just money to get. Sorry for the wait. You know, I'm not gonna leave you guys hanging. I'm, I'm always gonna put up a review. It just, it might not be on time. You know, I'm just like Jesus. You know, might not come when you want them, but I'm always on time. Well, I guess I wouldn't be on time in this situation, but um, let me just, I'm just gonna go. I'll catch you guys later. Young Rasta, hair like pasta, be on the song, you gon' knock back shots to Get it real live, real live, yeah, I got to. I need you to drink it till there's nothing you will not do. Hi, mom, <laughs> I made it. Shades on, I ain't Hollywood, I'm faded.